my plan over the next 12 months and, as eight, eight, and over the next eight years yeah. in the White House. Standing in front of about 700 people in Utah, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is working to get the support he needs to be on the 2024 presidential ballot. We need people out there who are going to who are going to get us on the ballot here in Utah. Kennedy is the son of former late U.S. Senator and U.S. Attorney General Robert Kennedy and the nephew of assassinated President John F. Kennedy and late U.S. Senator Edward Kennedy. He spoke on stage and interacted with supporters, showing them that he wants to do what it takes to give people an independent option. I'm talking about the same issues here as I talk elsewhere. I'm talking about constitutional rights, including religious freedoms, freedom of speech, rebuilding the American middle class, ending the chronic disease epidemic, which is particularly acute. Here in Utah. I've always been a Kennedy supporter. I used to be a Democrat, but now I'm more like an independent myself because I want to vote for who will do a good job. And like he says, the parties, they're no longer Democrat and Republicans. So having him as an independent, I think, is great. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has been a lifelong Democrat, but for the past decade has been drifting away from the party, which is why in October he announced that he would run as an independent for president of the United States. I spoke to supporters out here tonight who say they want change from this country, so they were excited to hear what he had to say. We waited out in the cold for about 40 minutes. And I was cold. I'm not dressed for it, right? So we got in line, and it's just... It's just a great crowd. I was looking at the crowd, see was kind of around you, and just real people, real people that are, probably want solutions. To, to get them on the ballot, you know, at least have a chance. I don't like the options we have presented, so if there's maybe something else we can choose from, it seems like it's within our power. Beth Peacock came all the way from Colorado to listen to what RFK Jr. had to say. We are um, Kennedy supporters, die hard. We support him to the end. We just believe in what he stands for. He talked about his concern with the homelessness crisis in our country, issues at the border, big corporations taking out the small players, criticizing the COVID-19 lockdowns, the environment, and finding middle ground. Republicans and Democrats, everybody wants to take care of our veterans. Nobody wants to hear that veterans' families are on food stamps while they're all fighting for our country. Everybody wants to make sure that they have good medical care. Everybody wants our kids to be the best educated kids in the world. Everybody wants an education system that works for our children. The and biggest change that people tell me they hope to see is reducing the cost of living. That our economy gets better, the cost of living has gone crazy, you can't afford to pay for groceries. It's just, re I'm retired and we need to get some help. It's just, I don't know, it's scary. I'm very, very grateful to all of you for coming out. I just, uh, I ask you to in Salt Lake City, I am Maitri Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.